What is happening guys? Welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. Today we start Elden Ring, but not any, just any or normal Elden Ring. We start playing Elden Ring today as a Witcher. And not just any Witcher, but Witcher Ronin. So let me explain who Witcher Ronin is, because I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't know who Ronin is. Uh, if you have not followed uh, CD Projekt Red very close, CD Projekt Red ba uh, basically made an off-canon Witcher, and they made a uh, comic series of him. His name was Witcher Ronin, and based and they basically combined the Witcher universe with a Japanese, you know, samurai universe. And Witcher Ronin is basically a samurai. So, I was trying to think of another Let's Play series to do, and I was thinking, why not? I, I wanted to do more with Elden Ring. I, I, all I did with Elden Ring so far for the channel was a walkthrough, and then I've been doing some streams with the randomizer. I wanted to do more, <laughs> so I decided let's do a New Game Plus playthrough with Witcher Ronin. Um, so we're gonna go. We're gonna just start from the very beginning of the game. New Game Plus, uh, Witcher Ronin. But here's the kick, though. I can only use skills of a Witcher. So. First of all, we have to start New Game Plus. Um, go to the round table real quick. But this is going to be a challenge because I'll let me start New Game Plus first and then we'll talk about it here. All right, begin journey two. Yes. Yes. All right. So this is this is going to be fun, guys. I I'm really excited for this challenge. <laughs> so let me explain our build. We have this is Witcher Ronin. We are rolling with the samurai style, and it, like I said, if you need to know who Witcher Ronin is, just do a Google search. Uh, I also ch recommend checking out the manga that CD Projekt Red created. The manga, the or not really manga, I guess it's it's more of a comic series, but the comics are really worth a read. They're fantastic. Uh, but Witcher Ronin is a Witcher in a Japanese samurai universe, so we are rolling with katana. So the thing of this playthrough is I can only use things that Witcher Ronin could possibly use. Now, obviously, I mean, we're playing a, you know, Elden Ring, so there's not going to be things like Ard or Igni or Quinn. But I have done a ton of research and ton of tests to try to build the best Witcher build that I can build. So a little preview, we are allowed to basically use any katana in the game. Uh, so we have the two Uji katanas, the the Nagi 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 Kaba, the Serpent Bone Blade, the Moon Veil, the Hand of Melania, the Dragon Scale Blade, and the Rivers of Blood. Now, obviously, we aren't going to use Rivers of Blood for much because this this just melts everything in the game, and that would just get boring. Um, we do have the stats, though, to use any katana. If you look on the right there, we have our, our level at 155. We have our vigor at 60, our mind at 23, so we can, you know, basically use any type of spirit summon, too. I'll talk about that in a bit here. We have our endurance at a nice balance of 20. Our strength is 18. Our dexterity is 55. Our intelligence is 23, which will allow us to use moon, moon veil if we want to use moon veil. And faith is 25, so we can use some faith stuff, too, which is going to be important for this build. And then arcane's at a nice base level of 20 so it's kind of a hybrid build i mean there's i mean our damage is not crazy on this build this that's why it's going to be definitely a challenge i mean literally right now with our two uji katanas we have 475 and 574 for our uh for our weapon power uh for for our spells this is where things get a little interesting guys you're probably thinking oh a witcher can use oils so instead of oils we have incantations so basically if you look here we have magic so we have, we can put on Scholar's Arm in it for Magic Blade. We can put on Order's Blade for Holy. We can put on electri Electrify Arm in it for, electri for, electri uh, for Electricity. Blood Flame Blade for Fire and uh, Poison. And then for Igni, <laughs> I went a little uh, over overboard probably here, but Igni is going to be this. Um, obviously, I mean, and it kind of makes sense too. like Samurai, a, a Samurai Witcher, he's going to have a, like a dragon power. So, and we went with the, the uh, Arcane Seal based off that. So that would be a nice balance there. Um, for potions and stuff, we have for Quinn, we're using Uplifting Arminate. So Uplifting, up, uplifting Aromatic Arminate, Uplifting Aromatic will basically spawn like a Quinn shield around us. And we have a bunch of those so we can craft those as much as we need. Uh, that'll be our Quinn. So also here, guys, this we have off, our two Uji Katanas are set with our two main skills. So let me walk outside here so it's a little lighter uh, so I can show you this. In our right hand, we have... Ard, so Ard is going to be Stormblade, which is an awesome little Ash of War. And in our left 
hand, we have flaming strike. So basically, we can we can get we can get fire on our blade, and also that, and then also at the same time, we can enchant our blade with any type of you know enchantment too. So we'll be able to whatever the enemy weakness is, we'll be able to do it. So this is going to be a really fun build, guys. And also, like I said, we're only allowed to use stuff witchers could possibly do. So if a witcher could not possibly do it in a witcher universe, we're not going to be able to do it in this playthrough, which is going to make things really interesting later on in the session. So let's just get right into this and see how this goes. Also for spirit summons, spirit summons are allowed, uh, but I own, I'm not going to allow myself to use the mimic though. Obviously, the mimic is a little bit overpowered. These are the only spirit summons I can use. Um, I... I only have so basically we're I have a few cool ones like Beastman Ashes. Those are really fun to use. Uh, basically, my thought process on this was you know a Witcher usually can fight with a mage. You know you play Witcher three, you fight sometimes with Yennefer or or or, uh, or Triss or other other mages. You know so I thought you know why not put like Latena in there? She just shoots bow, uh, shoots arrows. You know I can, I have a couple mages in here. We do have you know Black Knight Tish for like if we get stuck on Millennia and we don't want to die to her like tons of times so we have a few things in here we can whip out if we're really struggling omen killer rollo i just think was really a cool one like i basically thought like witcher found this guy in the woods and some he teamed up with him <laughs> just a little bit of lore there um it, i just just i picked up basically a set of fun summons uh but yeah we're not going to use mimic though obviously that's just overpowered uh but yeah let's uh let's get right into this this is gonna be a good this is gonna be a good good time guys i'm excited for this and like i said i didn't really know what i wanted to do for the channel next uh, i just knew i wanted to do a little bit more elden ring content because we're in a slow season right now for games Ooh, that one to the face Look at that. Hard. I'm telling you, people are sleeping on Stormblade. Stormblade is a really fun Ash of War. And dead. So, as you see, that was a pretty easy fight. <laughs> Things will get harder, though. Things will get harder. Um... So we got that. I think I've actually never beat the first boss in any playthrough. What do you do? You just run through and jump off then? And that's how you move on? <laughs> I've always died to that thing because I've, I've actually this is my first time too ever playing New Game Plus in this game. I have not touched New Game Plus. I've played the game through like five times, but I've never actually played New Game Plus through. Or er, so I thought, uh, why not do it as a Witcher for my first New Game Plus playthrough? All right. So yeah, this is going to be like a boss run, basically, you know, running through. Uh, you know, I guess we could kill Soldier Godric real quick. Soldier of Godric. I know there'll be people online that say, you didn't kill Soldier of Godric. So yeah, we'll go do that real quick. We'll use uh, some Igni or something on him. But also, too, you got to remember, Witchers don't like to rely on signs. Uh, Witchers are very... You know, they rely on their sword skills and only whip out signs really when they absolutely need them. Obviously, you know, we'll whip out some stuff just to mix up things because, you know, variety is the spice of life. Um, but that's just my take on it. Also, for the armor, we decide to go with the... Uh, let me kill this guy and I'll show you. Because I'm sure some people ask, what armor are you using? Come on. Okay, for the armor, we're going with, uh, you get this set from, uh, from, uh, oh my gosh, I can't think of his, y Yora, Yara? Help me out, guys. Put in the comment section, uh, this armor, the, where you get this armor from. I can't think of the name, uh, from, it's an NPC. Basically, you kill the NPC, Ro oh my gosh, I'm an idiot, Ronin, Ronin's, uh, armor, and then, uh, Malekith's Gauntlets and Scaled Greaves. Uh, for Talismans, we are going with the Shard of Alexander. The great dragon, uh, dragon crest, great shield talisman. Say that ten times fast. And the Millicent's prothesis and the two fingers heirloom. So that we raise the faith a little bit. Um, yeah, we even got a cross crossbow here too because you know witchers, you know they use a crossbow every now and then. I tried to make this as close to a witcher as I possibly could. 
And like I said, if you have not checked out Witcher Ronin, uh, the the comic series yet, I definitely recommend checking that out. It's really, really good. I hope they continue it. I wish they would make an anime off it. Like, I wish they would, like, team with, uh, like, make a team with, like, A1 or something, or even trigger anime studios, and uh, they could really do a really cool anime, I think. All right, Soldier of Godric. Let's do it. Soldier of Godric. A little bit of Igni. <laughs> oh. Wow. You got some hits on me, didn't you? Oh, wow. I can't really, uh... I thought I could easily... <laughs> I wanted to make that, uh... I wanted to do a reflect attack there, but I, I gotta remember my poise is not good with this. Our poise is only at, uh, let's see here, 26. So yeah, our poise is really, really low, um, which is really bad, but uh, it's okay. It is what it is. I mean, usually in Elden Ring, I like my poise, poise to be around level 50 or something like that at least, but uh, stamina I build, you know, are always low poise. All right. We might as well do this as a region lock too, you know. I mean, we we're not we don't need to ride around and get graces. We can just take out one area at a time before moving on, basically. So yeah, we'll just uh go through here. We'll go take on the the uh, tree sentinel right up front, and we'll mix it up too. We'll use different katanas too, just to try out new things. Because you know, like I said, ride is a place of life. All right. So, what should we use for the dragon tree set? Or not dragon tree sentinel? Dragon tree sentinel. Yeah, right. Let's use. I'm thinking we use the quality Nagi 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 Kaba. This thing is long. It's powerful. Um, it has a good strike on it. I think this will be a great weapon for this. Um, also, they're weak to, I believe, magic, if I remember right. So we need to apply on our staff so we can put magic blade on this. And let's get to it. Oh. Uh, why? Why can't I use? Oh, because I'm not, I'm an idiot. <laughs> there we go. All right, it's me and you, Dragon Tree Sentinel. Things do hit harder in New Game Plus, that's for sure. Ooh. Wow. Wow, okay. All right. I see how it is. My roll was off there. Oh, I missed him. I gotta heal. Ooh.
Ooh. I was not ready for that one. Oh, he likes that attack. Oh, he did not hit me with that. There's no way. Should have got hit too by that. <laughs> we both ran into to each other. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Oh shit. Oh come on. And dead. All right. Nice. Forget, do we have our horse? Yeah, we do. Nice. I didn't know if you. I didn't know in New Game Plus if you had to go through and get your horse again, but I guess you do have your horse. All right. Rest there, and we're just gonna continue to make our way through. Gonna start at the catacomb areas and just start uh, grinding through things. For this catacomb, we will use some type of holy katana, obviously. Probably like sacred blade or something. Or actually, we don't even need sacred blade because we have that holy incantation. All right, so let's do, um, let's do, let's just go there and we'll, we'll just put our normal katanas back on. Um, that'll be good, that'll be good. Run through, pull the lever. Nothing to it. I think it's up this ladder if I remember right. And then you jump down right over here. And pull the lever right there. Yeah. And let's go fight the boss. Okay, let's just uh, use our holy. All right. I still think these are one of the most annoying enemies in the game. It took me so long to figure out how to dodge these things. Their jump attack is just so weird to dodge. Okay, why is he not jumping? Since when does he not jump? There we go. Oh wow, I he span fast there. Ooh. 
Ooh. Nice, that was a good jump there. <laughs> I jumped over his blade that swang and... Alright, nothing to it guys. This will be a good test too to see like how fast I can beat Elden Ring. <laughs> And I mean, we might go actually for all 165 bosses. We might. I mean, like I said, we're in a slow season right now for games. The next big game that I don't plan on... I mean, the next big game that I'm waiting on is Star Ocean, and that comes out in October. So until October, we, we're really in a slow spot. Uh, I know Steel Rising is coming out uh, really soon. It's, it's out probably by the time you see this. Um, but, uh, I was not impressed by Steel Ri what I saw with Steel Rising. Um, I, I, nothing about it looked like a fun game, to be honest. I, I don't know. It just looked, it looked like it was trying to be a Souls, and it, I don't know. I just, I didn't like the main character either. You play as, like, this robot thing, and, I mean, the story's probably good. I mean, there's probably gonna be people commenting, say, oh, dude, Steel Rising is really good. I, I get it. Uh, but for me, to play a game, I have to like the main character. If I don't like the main character, I'm just not gonna enjoy the game. Uh, that's that's always how it's been for me. So I just yeah, that's my opinion. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you actually broke my guard. <laughs> He's... Oh, I thought he'd be dead by that. Alright. Uh, and then where's the exit at in this place? Right over here? I don't think there was anything else. Yeah. Some of these caves I know have two bosses. I, I think that's later on, though. I thought there was one one in Limgrave too, though. I don't know. Okay, so let's move on. Right on next is... Uh, let's see, we knocked out the cave. Actually, we could go take on that boss down there. There's a boss. Sir, sir. I was trying to talk to my audience. <laughs> Let's go take on that one in on the beach. There, I know, because I remember there's a... A cave on the beach that goes underground and it goes... It's like a tunnel to over that place. It's where you get the sewing needle at. Uh, let's see here. How did we get down there? It's right here. And then there should be a thing to jump on, right? Right here. Okay, good. I thought I wasn't going to make it. I didn't jump either beforehand, so <laughs> I would have died. <laughs> yeah, right over here. Okay, run through here and take out this boss. Limgrave is going to be real easy. You know, we're just going to be running through, knocking shit out real quick. Nothing to it. As the game progresses, though, I mean, I'm not going to level up on this playthrough. I'm going to stay at level 155, so things are going to start to get hard. <laughs> halfway through halfway through New Game Plus, things will definitely get hard. I think the boss is right in here. Yeah. Man, that's so awesome. <laughs> it barely uses any FP too. It's so it's such a really awesome Ash of War. People sleep on it though. You don't see very many people use it. Where's the other one at? There's two of these things in here. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. He used to come, like, as you were fighting the other one. <laughs> oh, 
All right, nothing to it, guys. Nothing to it. I was going to say, don't these guys usually stop fighting you after you kill his... Yeah, I was going to say, they usually stop and ask for mercy after you kill their boss. <laughs> okay, that, we got that one. Let's go back and take on the... We can take on the giant worm. We might as well do that. Stranded graveyard. We kind of forgot about that one. <laughs> we ran right by it. We should have enough stone sword keys. I gathered uh, quite a bit of my mule playthrough. The good thing about Ronin set too is Ronin set has lower or has higher immunities to stuff, so things don't get built up as fast, like a uh, poison and rot and stuff. Pretty awesome. Okay, is it run? Which one do you run down? Is it run into this one? I think. Yeah. And then you jump off this one once this guy. Once he goes down. Once he turns around, then you jump. That's right. And then you just run, and you should be able to get him to the bottom. The boss isn't right there, is it? No. It's down the next one. We're just running, running, running. We should be able to make it. Yeah, we got it. All right. I remember the first time I ever played through this area. It was just a nightmare. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm at the dodge there. Oh shit, I totally switched off my weapon there. I tried to punch this thing. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta heal. Why am I not watching my health? I thought I rolled far enough. Uh oh, I'm going to be dead. Yep, I'm going to die from this. Yeah, I'm totally dead. Oh, I'm alive still. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I lived through that. I got lucky, guys. I got lucky. Fighting these things in closed spaces are never a good time. Damn it, did he eat me again? No, he didn't eat me. These things are weak to like probably fire. Kind of like a lesson in a way. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. That was epic. Oh, man. That was really a really, really cool finisher. <laughs> Flaming Strike, man. Flaming Strike's an awesome Ash of War. Was there anything? Oh, I thought there was a door back there. I was like, did I miss that? My 
freaking four playthroughs I've played through this game. <laughs> All right, so that's done. Uh, let's move over to Merc, or actually, no, we got to go. There's a cave down here. Go back to Church of Ella. <clears throat> I hope you, if I can talk right, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Tales playthrough. I really enjoyed that game. That was such a good time. And like, and I mean, that was my first ever Tales game I ever played through too. I mean, that was just, I love the story. The ending to that was really good. Such a fun game. It does feel good to though, come back to a more combat focused game, you know, like Elden Ring. I mean, don't get me wrong. Tales had good combat. It just got really repetitive over time. And, uh, you know, that that's the one down thing. I downside, I think, of Tales is just the com the combat got really repetitive. I'm sure some people have the same thoughts about Elden Ring, too, you know, say the combat's repetitive. I mean, I, I think it's not, though, because you can mix up your combat in so many different styles. Like, for, the, for instance, this playthrough, we're just going to wreck shit <laughs> um, because we can use all this kind of stuff. Let's 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 uh, let's have some fun with the Dragon Blade this time. Let's uh, whip out the Dragon Blade for a change. The Dragon Katana. One that I don't see talked about very much online. I don't remember how to get to the boss in this one. I, know, I remember this boss is kind of tricky to get to. You had to kind of like, uh, I think you have to jump off an elevator if I remember right. Halfway through, halfway down an elevator, I think you have to jump off if I remember right. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. And then the boss is to the, down here, I think. Yeah, you just ride the elevator down, I think. Yep, that was... I got I got a pretty good memory, actually. I mean, I have played this game through, like I said, about five times through all the way, so... And doing a walkthrough through it on YouTube, I mean, you kind of memorize where a bunch of stuff is. Alright, troll! You're gonna meet the Dragon Katana. Yeah, the cool thing about it is it's a, actually a, a, it's an ice weapon, which there's not very many ice weapons in this game, surprisingly. Ice lightning, which is really cool. I hope for the DLC we see some more ice weapons or some more like lightning, different types of lightning weapons, because we don't have that many, actually. Can, can apply frost bleed frostbite to him too. Oh no. Why can't I hit this thing? <laughs> Stagger! Oh, I'm not going to be able to get the critical, though. <laughs> His head's in the wall. <laughs> Damn, I wanted to finish that off with a critical. Damn, we missed our chance. That's a fun blade to use, though. All right, let's uh, go to... We should have got that grease over there by the uh, gate front. Oh, well, we'll ride over there real quick. It's not a big deal.
Yeah, I mean, it's getting closer to fall. I mean, I still predict we'll get a DLC at the end of this year. Probably close to Christmas time. Just watch. I think Tokyo Game Show. Tokyo Game Show, everybody. Listen up. I think they are going to release... They are going to talk about the the DLC. And they're going to, you know, release more details for us. All right. Murkwater Cave. That's where we're going to go next. we we'll take on Patches. I mean, Patches isn't, isn't really a boss, but he has a boss health bar. So we'll take him out. I guess we don't need that grace right there. Can't remember if there's a spirit spring you can jump down to get down there right here or not. Uh, da, 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 da. Not right there. Is there one over here? Because we're going to die if we jump right there. I feel like there's got to be a spirit spring over here. There's got to be one. I guess I'll get this grease just in case I would randomly. Oh, there it is right there. Nice. Oh, that's going to be way too far, probably. Oh, maybe not. Nice. Thought we might die there. Actually, wait, is there a cave right there? We might as well take that cave out if there is. I think it is. I think there is something back here. Yep, there's a catacomb. We'll take that on real quick. Um, For weapons, we'll go with... We could go with, like, Hana Millennia. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Murkwater Catacombs. I don't even remember what boss is in here. Uh-oh, I'm rolling heavy. I gotta take off of the Thana. <laughs> Check out that rolling, man. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Get away. Oh wow. I don't think I can put a buff on this blade though. I think it's a... Yeah, too bad. Damn. Yeah, you can't put any type of buff on that blade, actually. Alright. I think the boss door is right up here. Oh, maybe not. No, the boss door is deeper in. Hmm... Yeah, this is one catacomb area that I don't have a lot of experience in. Maybe it's down here? Oh, yeah, there it is. What is the boss of this place? And does it stand a chance against Millennia's Blade? Ooh. Oh, this thing. Oh man, we just wrecked this thing! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, Millennia's Blade is a little bit OP for Limgrave area, but, uh, I mean... <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, we totally wrecked that thing. I, I thought his poise would be better against it, because those things have a huge poise, but, uh... Surprisingly not. I, I'm i surprised. Alright, we'll use the uh, Poison Blade. And we'll just put on the Secondary Blade. Alright. Uh, let's go take on... I think Patches is down this way. Oops.
Yeah, pat we'll do patches next. We'll just use a poison blade on patches. And I actually have never used this blade before, Serpent Bone Blade. I've seen it talked a little bit about online. I'm kind of curious to try it out. Ooh, I forgot. We get this guy, too. Actually, you know what we could do? We could pull out uh, these and wreck this guy with them. Uh, let's see. We'll do that. Do that. And... Blood those up. And then do two of those. The blood clones, I can see Witcher Ronin using these. That's why I have them. <laughs> Ooh, we're both bloody. How is he not dead? Oh, Ronin. Uh, y Yora, Yara. Why can I not think of this guy's name, guys? I, I'm having such a... Y Yura. Yura! That's his name! Yura! My goodness, it took me half this episode to try to figure out that guy's name. Okay. Let's go take on Patches now. Yura. How did I not remember that? He's one of the coolest NPCs in this game. been a busy week that's why <laughs> that's my excuse <laughs> don't mind me I'm just gonna go kill your guys' boss good old patches time for patches all right patches Come on, Patches. It's you and me. Can I buff this blade? No, I can't. Oh, wow. He. What? What? Patches? What? Patches? No. Did I just get repost by Patches? Take that, Patches. How's it feel? How's it feel to get a knife shoved up your ass? I can't believe I've lost. Oh, don't kill him. Don't kill Patches. Don't kill him. <laughs> I can't believe I got repost by Patches. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, come on. All right. So, let's see, we gotta go, let's go knock out, we're gonna travel to gate front real quick. There's, we got a few minutes left here in this one, we can, we can knock out something else here real quick. Um, actually, let's just ride up. We could go take out the Crucible Knight real quick. That might be a good one to end on, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do let's do Mr. Crucible Knight next. Uh, for this fight, we are gonna need this. And we're going to need... Where's my... There we go. Alright. Alright, Crucible Knight. Time for you to meet your doom. Let's go. Uh, can I buff this blade at all? I don't think I can. It's probably... Yeah, no, you can't. Shoot. Oh, well. All right, Crucible Knight.
Huh? Oh, wow. I messed that up. There we go. Come on. <laughs> He's going to be dead. And you're dead. All right. You're still not dead. All right, nothing to it. I remember when I, my first playthrough, I just could not beat Crucible Knights. I was like, how do you beat these damn things? It's funny, once you know how to parry, <laughs> how easy they are. <laughs> All right, Crucible Knight dead. And I think that's gonna be where we leave off. So, so guys, this is the next journey. I hope you guys stick with me. Um, I think it's gonna be a really fun time and yeah, we'll see you guys next time.